Hello friends, my name's Ty and I'm going to read to you. Uh, I had a lot of really positive comments on my reading of The Cremation of Sam McGee, and I had a couple specific requests for more from Robert Service. So I'm going to read you another one of my favorite Robert Service poems, The Shooting of Dan McGrew. A bunch of boys were whooping it up in the Malamute saloon. The kid that hangles a music box was hitting a jag time tune. Back of the bar in a solo game sat Dangerous Dan McGrew, and watching his luck, his light o' love, the lady that's known as Lou. When out of the night, which was fifty below, and into the din and glare, there stumbled a miner, fresh from the creeks, dog dirty, and loaded for bear. He looked like a man with a foot in the grave and scarcely the strength of a louse, yet he tilted a poke of dust in the bar and called for drinks for the house. There was none that could place the stranger's face, though we searched ourselves for a clue. But we drank his health, and the last to drink was dangerous Dan McGrew. There's men that somehow just grip your eyes and hold them hard like a spell. And such was he, and he looked to me like a man who had lived in hell. With a face most hair, and the dreary stare of a dog whose day is done. And he watered the green stuff in his glass, and the drops fell one by one. Then I got to figuring who he was, and wondered what he'd do. And as I turned my head, and there watching him was a lady that's known as Lou. His eyes went rubbering around the room, and he seemed in kind of a daze, till at last that old piano fell in the way of his wandering gaze. The ragtime kid was having a drink, and there was no one else on the stool, so the stranger strumbles across the room, and flops there like a fool. In a buckskin shirt that was glazed with dirt, he sat, and I saw him sway. And then he clutched the keys with his taloned hands. My God, but that man could play. Were you ever out in the grate alone when the moon was awful clear, and the icy mountains hemmed you in in the silence you could almost hear? With only the howl of a timber wolf, and you camped there in the cold, a half-dead thing in a stark dead world, clean mad for the muck called gold. While high overhead... Green, yellow, and red, the northern lights swept in bars. And the need of hunch what that music meant. Hunger and night and the stars. And hunger not of the belly kind, that's banished with bacon and beans. But the gnawing hunger for, of lonely men for a home and all that it means. For a fireside far from the cares that are. Four walls and a roof above. But oh, so cramful of cozy joy and crowned the woman's love. A woman dearer than all the world, and heaven, and true as heaven is true. God, how ghastly she looks through her rouge, that lady that's known as Lou. Then on a sudden, the music changed, so soft you could scarcely hear. But you felt that your life had been looted clean of all that you once held dear. That someone had stolen the woman you loved, and her love was a devil's lie. That your guts were gone, and the best for you was to crawl away and die. "'Twas the crowning cry of a heart's despair, and it thrilled you through and through. "'I guess I'll make it a spread, Miss Eyre," said dangerous Dan McGrew. "'The music almost died away, then it burst like a pent-up flood. "'And it seemed to say, Repay, repay, and my eyes were blind with blood. "'The thought came back of an ancient wrong, and it stung like a frozen lash. "'And the lust awoke to kill, to kill, and the music stopped with a crash.' The stranger turned, and his eyes they burned in a most peculiar way. In a buckskin shirt that was glazed with dirt he sat, and I saw him sway. Then his lips went in a kind of grin, and he spoke, and his voice was calm. And boys, says he, you don't know me, and none of you care a damn. But I want to state that my words are straight, and I'll bet my poke they're true. The one of you is the hound of hell, and that one is Dan McGrew. Then I ducked my head and the lights went out and two guns blazed in the dark and a woman screamed and the lights went up and two men lay stiff and stark. Pitched on his head and pumped full of lead was dangerous Stan McGrew while the man from the creeks lay clutched to the breast of the lady that's known as Lou. These are the simple facts of the case and I guess I ought to know. They say the stranger was crazed with hooch and I'm not denying it so. I'm not so wise as the lawyer guys, but strictly between us two. The woman that kissed him and pinched his poke was the lady that's known as Lou. 
I think we'll have some more of these Robert Service poems in the future. Thanks very much for being with me.